Quick's full course in 2023 complete tutorial for beginners. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you all the features of this great website builder called Wix.com. We'll create new website using Wix and also I'll show you all the features, how can we analyze, how can we optimize our website so basically here we are on our start page wix.com as you can see in the top of the screen there is a lot of information about creation business grow resources enterprise also we'll discover prices a little bit later but in order to get started we need to click on get started to create an account we can simply continue with email or we can use our Gmail account or Facebook or even Apple. So in my case, I'm going to use one of my Gmail accounts to create an account. Basically, I already have. So I'm just going to log in. And in a few seconds, we'll come to our website folder. As you can see in the top of the screen, we have the option to switch between websites. We can click on explore to find some information, help and hire a professional option. Also in the right side, there is like account settings where we can find all the information about our payments, history and so on. So from this page here, we can easily interact with every single website we have. As you can see, I have like three websites, so we can click on more and view all the options like rename site, get feedback, view live site, change owner, add collaborators, duplicate, move to folder or move to trash. We can just simply move to trash. And as you can see, it still will save it for like 90 days and we can find all the websites right up here. So basically, it's pretty cool that you have the opportunity to like, you know, find a deleted websites. So we can also create new folder to organize all of our websites. And in order to create a new site, we just simply need to click on plus in the right top corner right up here. And um, here we need to answer for the questions like what kind of website are you creating? It's necessary to organize the templates suitable as for us. In my case, I'm going to click on skip in the right bottom corner to show you that we can easily change everything by ourselves. I'm going to click on skip, skip. And here I'm going to click on skip also. And yeah, our website was successfully creating. Now we can simply go to dashboard as you can see. I suggest to click on begin with the template so we can easily find the suitable template as for us. Here we are on our template page. As you can see, we can create blank templates or we can simply choose a like, category we'd like to explore. For example, store like fashion and clothing or creative, maybe band, blog with personal blog, food and travel. There are a lot of options we can easily use. So in my case, I'm going to use maybe a restaurant website. So I'm going to go to business and services and I'll just click on restaurant. The Wix provides us the opportunity to use a lot of different templates, maybe tons of them from different categories. In my case, I'm going to use um, this template here. So we can just simply click on view. And as you can see, it looks like this pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we can also switch to mobile device. So as you can see, all the templates are responsive and we can easily use them from different devices. And I think this feature is pretty, pretty cool. So let's click on edit this site and we'll come to our editor page. It may take a little time, depends on the server's capacity and our internet connection. Basically, all we need to do is just to wait until this picture is like animated and before we'll come to the our editor. So here we are on our editor page. Let's have a quick tour. As you can see in the left side, there is like add elements button, add section, pages and menu, site design, add apps, my business option, media and content manager. So all we need to know about Wix is that this website builder uh, helps us to work with site, the, like created from different sections, this section here, this section here, like here, uh, basically the top section is called header and the lowest one is called footer. And like these sections are maybe non, they don't have any names. So basically we can move down section, move it up 
uh, we can quick edit uh, to change the background or something like this explore section layouts and so on you can also add section by simply click on plus and as you can see there are a lot of templates we can easily use welcome about team contact promotion services subscribe just nominals clients so there are a lot of different templates we can easily use. We can also create a blank section as you can see. In my case, let's add maybe team section where we'll uh, discover all of our like team from our restaurant. So here we are, this section was successful edit. And of course we need to move it down to make it not the first, let it be maybe the third page here. The next way we can easily add a section by simply click on X section right up here and the same window will be opened as you can see. Yeah, so it's pretty easy and we can do it from both the ways. Uh, if you'll come to the section, we can find that there is like some elements here. For example, here there is a text, text more, text and the button. In order to add something to our page, we need to click on plus add elements and then we can discover a lot of things we can add like text image button strip decorate box gallery menu and anchor context and forms so a huge amount of different elements is provided by wix so in this case i'm going to add one more button and let it be the same so now we can easily move and in order to like replace different objects we just simply need to click and then just move them whenever we want so we can also interact with them we can just simply click on change text for example we can change something here and also change the page where we did lead like where does it link to we can simply click on right up here we can change it like to web address section and anchor top and bottom of page document and so on so in this case let it be like this we can also change every single text we can just simply click click on edit text and here we are we can write something let it be like uh, the name of our channel so as you can see we also have a panel with different properties we can make it bold or italic or underline so the steps are quite simple also we can change the alignment change the bullets and numbering and so on there are a lot of options effects characters line spacing vertical tag ceo and accessibility so in this case, there are a lot of uh, elements and the different elements has different like properties we can change. For example, this picture here, we can just simply click on change image and we can easily try to find something from these talks or some from some other uh, stuff from, for example, from Shutterstock. We can simply use these. These, of course, we need to pay for them before using. Yeah. Uh, we can also like crop, um, add some filters, animate and so on. And every single element has its own properties. Yeah, uh, in order to manage pages and menu, we can just simply click on the third icon here. And as you can see, the site menu contains from home, about, menu, catering, contact. Like also there is like sign up and login pages and member pages. So these are the ways. Also, the cool feature is that we can change the whole website design by simply clicking on right up here. We can customize the scheme. As you can see, the color palette was successfully uh, changed and we can even change the text here. We can change the text theme. We can switch between different fonts. So it's pretty cool that we can change the font pack we are using. As for me, this feature is pretty cool and I suggest you, if you are using the template, you can customize colors and text as you need. As for me, it's pretty cool. And moreover, when everything is done, we can just simply publish our website. In the right top corner, just simply click on publish. Let's click on save and continue. And um, once it's saved, we can publish it to the internet. We can just simply click on done and let's click on publish. And in a few seconds, our website was successfully added to the internet. We can now view it. As you can see, it looks like this. Pretty cool. All the features were added. This theme area, color palette, text, fonts, and so on. So let's click on done. And now we can just simply go to dashboard, hover to the Wix element and go to dashboard. 
And from this page here, we can find a lot of different information, which is pretty cool and useful. So in the left side, there is like menu with home activity, silent app, restaurant, subscription, sales program, contacts. But what is interesting is that we can manage our marketing and CEO from the page here. So we can find a lot of information. We can go to CEO area where we can like add the keyboards and so on we can use different tools and settings we can do email marketing and so on and also from analytics and reports we can find a lot of information about our traffic about traffic overview so we can find the location uh, the like the traffic sources and so on and it's also pretty cool if we are going to like you know um, discover their page plans we can find a lot of information as for website plans they have like free and also the connect domain option 550 euros per month combo with 10 euros unlimited with like 17 and VIP with 29 we can discover all the differences and as you can see uh, the most popular is unlimited so we can try to use it for free and after the discover is it suitable for us to use unlimited and also there is like business and e-commerce plans and enterprise plans if you are like from a big company. So basically I suggest you to use it for free and after that you can easily discover is it necessary as for you to use Wix. But basically yeah this is the way of how can we get started with Wix online uh, site builder. Hope guys this video helped you out. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.